Okay, so in this video, we're going to learn how to record a macro. And uh, recording a macro is good if you want to automate tasks. So if you have some repetitive tasks that you're always doing, uh, you can record them and then just rerun that recording uh, when you want. Uh, so in this example, what we're going to do is record a macro that will automatically adjust column widths to fit our data. And so as you can see, we have our data here and some of it's not readable because the column width is too small for the data. So our email addresses, for example, we can only see the first part of them. And the, the numbers here, some of them are too big and Excel <coughs> shows these hash marks instead. <coughs> so to record a macro, first we're going to need to enable the developer tab. And to do that, you can just go up to the ribbon and right click anywhere. And in the menu that appears, select customize the ribbon. And in the main tabs area, you can see there's a developer option and it's unchecked by default. So go ahead and enable that or check it and press the OK button. And as you can see, a developer tab appears here. And this has a lot of things, commands to do with Visual Basic and recording macros. Now you can also record a macro without the developer tab, and that's down here. There's a icon here, and if you hover over it, it'll say no macros are currently recording. Uh, if you press that, it'll start recording a macro, and when you're recording a macro, it'll turn into a stop button, so you can stop recording your macro. But we're going to record the macro from uh, the developer tab. Uh, it's the same result. Uh, but if you press this record macro button, it'll open up the record macro dialog box, and then you can go ahead and rename your macro. So we're just going to call it auto adjust. And you can assign it a shortcut key so that you can run this macro easily using your keyboard shortcut. Um, and then otherwise, press the OK button. And now if you see up here, the record macro has turned into stop recording macro. So that's how you can tell that you're recording a macro. Same down here, uh, it's become a stop button. So we're going to go ahead and record our actions. So the first thing we want to do is just select everything. Press that uh, button up there. And to auto adjust, uh, just hover the, your mouse cursor between any two columns and double left click. And that's all we wanted to record. So we'll just go ahead and stop recording the macro. And now, if you go to the macro, view macros dialog box, you'll see that we have our auto adjust macro there. So we're just going to cancel that and we're just going to re adjust these columns just so that we can see if it's working. So, again, open your macro dialog box, select your macro that you recorded, and press run and it'll play what, what we recorded. <clears throat> so what's happening is if you go into your Visual Basic Editor and in, it will have created a new module, so select that. And this is basically what it's recorded. So it's taken your actions and turned it into Visual Basic uh, code. And you can see it's pretty simple code. It's just selecting all the cells and then running auto fit on the entire column. So um, recording a macro is a great way to learn Visual Basic. So you can record your uh, actions in Excel and then you can edit and code things differently to do different things. So you can add loops and if-then statements and make your macro a bit smarter. But uh, for now, we're just doing this. So we can close out of there. And that's it.